welcome. Today I am revisiting the gelatin silicone alternative, the gelatin molds that I've made before. I did the same type of mixture with the same recipe, which is marked for N for normal. This time I did use the Knox brand gelatin. Someone was saying that that might make a difference. I don't think it does. It feels the same but I did create another mixture that is the same other than it has double the amount of gelatin in it and it is much more firm. So it might be able to hold its shape better that way, but it may also tear more easily and it may be harder to fill in really detailed models if it's not able to flow as well. It's a little bit more viscous. But I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to make a custom dice that I made for a friend who, if you look at this dice, you'll see there's some really high numbers on there. His character has a plus 10 to every roll. So there is nothing below an 11. This is 11 through 30. Since I don't really need to make a mold to make a bunch, I figured this would be good to revisit this for prototyping. Last time I didn't use my cups because it's very watery when it's heated up and I thought it would leak. So I'm gonna try it anyway while I'm already experimenting with things. And I'm gonna try and use some hot glue to seal it. And hopefully that will make it so it doesn't leak. The only issue I may have is this is PLA, uh, a bunch of different uh, filament ends just to use the filament, but the heat may very well warp this. So we'll see how that does. I'm going to try to make one mold with the normal stuff and another mold with the thicker stuff and see if that really makes a difference for keeping its consistency and shape. This die isn't as big as the first one that I did. This is just a typical jumbo at 30 millimeters. And we'll go ahead and get that started. Now I'm going to quickly go and put that in a pressure pot. It looks like it did leak a little bit, but still enough in there. Bleep. <laughs> that gave me a good line already and I can just cut down that Didn't want to go right through the number, but that's right where I happened to go. I did have it kind of off center a little bit, didn't I? But that's okay, because I didn't want the line to go through the number on that face. Oh no, didn't come up. Yeah, see, no, that's not gonna make a good number. The gelatin didn't come out of it in a solid piece like it should. I'm still going to try it, but hopefully the thicker stuff will do better.
it did start to deform the plastic a little bit, but as you can tell, everything actually ended up being just fine. Even the, the thin little slit was able to keep its shape and everything. Now we'll put that in the pressure pot and let it cure. This one leaked a little bit too, but not as bad. Hmm. I still don't think it's coming out of the numbers. I don't think we're going to get very good molds out of these. Looks like there's still some in the 17. It does feel a little bit more solid. This one's definitely much more flimsy. Okay, now for this, hopefully my thicker one will work the best out of the two. But surprisingly, this first one is not staying together. So that's gonna cause problems. I don't really wanna put a rubber band on it because you can see even the littlest bit of pressure completely deforms the mold, which we don't want to do. As I look at them, it seems like there are bubbles and pits in the faces, more so in the thicker compound, but we'll see what that actually comes out to. that in the pressure pot and see how those come out. Okay, it looks like neither one of these is going to work for my project, but that's okay. It was mostly just to test the molds. This one leaked out, even though it had the sheath on it, it wasn't completely sealed, so it just leaked out that crack out the side. And this one, you can easily see that there's a big void in the top. And from the top it looks okay, but from the side it looks like it got squished like this. <laughs> we'll see. And this is the thicker stuff. But let's at least take a look at what we've got going on with the molds. And yeah, it deformed too in the pressure pot. It's a bunch of weird like hairs, they're sticking out. They're not divots going in like you would expect. Here they are, but here they're sticking out inside of the mold here. It looks perfectly smooth, it's like we don't have any defects in the actual mold. Well, maybe there are right there. Yep, had some bubbles and stuff in it. Still too flimsy and for some reason deformed. You can see that it's smushed on the bottom, like it was smushing down. I only used about seven pounds of pressure in the pressure pot, which is significantly less than I normally use. This one looks like it has defects in it too with the bubbles and things, which is what I thought would happen by making it firmer. It wouldn't flow as easy. Surprisingly hard to get off. Yeah, but look how terrible that is. <laughs> That's horrible. And it also is deformed. But looking at that mold, this is firmer, but it's still just, you can tell that it just deformed and it didn't get a very good mold of the die to begin with. I don't think I had that much of an issue with it the first time I tried, but that should answer your questions as far as if you change the mixture, then yeah, this is a lot more flimsy, but you can increase the ratio of gelatin to make it more firm. 
probably rips a little easier. Let's see. Uh, actually, probably doesn't rip as easily. Yeah, a little harder to rip. So maybe you'd want to go thicker. But in any case, you can experiment with your recipes and your ratios to try and get something that would work for you. I don't think that the gelatin works that great for things that are fully enclosed. It may be better for something that's open face like that. For me, it just, there's, it deforms. As long as you're not trying to do anything that's super dimensionally accurate. And it didn't seem, at least to me, to make a difference what brand of gelatin I use, just as long as it's unflavored gelatin. And then just play with your mixtures. If you add more gelatin, you will get a firmer mold, but also the flow of that won't be, might be more difficult as far as making a good detailed mold of your model. I hope that's been helpful for you, and thank you for watching. Until next time, go make some molds.